let's set up our external MIDI devices and MIDI ports. Under All MIDI Inputs, I'm going to activate both available MIDI devices. This gives me the option of recording all incoming MIDI data to the same MIDI track. On this page, you can specify which MIDI ins and outs Cubase will use for new tracks. Listed under Direct Music are the available MIDI inputs and outputs in your system. The active column shows which ports are currently in use. In the Show column, you can specify which port is going to be listed in the pop-up menus on your MIDI tracks. You can also rename your port here. Windows MIDI. This works much in the same way as direct music. One more thing. Hiding a MIDI port doesn't turn it off if the MIDI port has already been selected. And this concludes our segment on audio and MIDI setup.